Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Ramblin' Man. It is the morning of day 10. Uh, last night I did mark this place on the map with an X, just FYI, because I forgot to show that in the last episode. I also did grab the weapons bag out of the well. There was only a few rounds of ammo in there though, so nothing big. Now, this morning we are headed east, back to Jen's town to grab our workbench and our forge. I want to move them to this town. And on our way there, we're going to check out some farms that we passed in the last episode. Here's one of them. Completely new POI here, so I want to check it out. But on top of that, hey, if we're going to do another Farmer Glock series, we got to scout a new location. Now, I've been told by many people that if we do Farmer Glock again, it's going to be much more challenging because of the changes they made to farming in this new alpha. Now, I haven't messed around with farming, so I don't really know what the new changes are. The only thing that I have heard is that when you harvest a plant now, instead of it going back to seed, it completely disappears, and then you have to plant something new. So that does seem like a bit more of a challenge, but it also seems more realistic, right? And I always like more of a challenge, so... I'm not, that doesn't that doesn't uh, oppo make me opposed to doing another Farmer Glock series. Uh, Anvil, yeah, I'll take that. We'll put that in our forge. Water and more water. Whoops, that's all one thing. Uh, let's check out this little shed here. Mm, not much. Okay. Uh, what about this silo? Let's see what we got up here. Uh, careful. There's some hay down there and a backpack, so what the hell. Let's check it out. Oh, level 6 scrap iron leg armor. Let's repair that and put that on. We don't have leg armor. So that's good. Throw that on. Bam. Sweet. Let's get the hell out of here now. And now for the barn, which appears to be connected to the house. Later, Kenny. Who else wants some? Another Kenny and a lady. Hey, what are you doing in here with two Kennys? Making a little manwich with the Kennys, huh? A little Kenwich? Having a little menage a Kenny? And she's better off dead. God knows what she contracted from those two. Let's get up here. Some trash. Scrap. And I'm good. Well, in terms of loot, so far nothing crazy. But in terms of a base, I'm already liking it. I like the fact that you can easily connect the barn to the house. Get out of here, bird. You know, replace this pole right here with blocks. Make a little bridge. A little catwalk right here. I'm already digging it. Any zombies in here? No, but there is a gun safe. Let's close this door. Whoops. Waking zombies up. Get out of here. Oh, shit. Yeah, fuck you. What's up, Mo? Oh, he's dead. All right. Uh, nightstand. Flannel shirt? Nah. A puffy coat would be nice. I'll take the poncho because it sells. Take the stone, scrap the cement for more stone, and let's see if we can lockpick our way into this thing. We got a few of them. Look at that. First try. A stun baton and steel spear parts, which I will sell both of those things. Now, I know I give the stun baton shit all the time, but it's actually a pretty damn good weapon if you pump points into Electrocutioner. But I don't plan on doing that in this series, so I'm just going to sell it. Maybe uh, at some point we'll try and focus on the stun baton for our main melee weapon, and I will pump points into Electrocutioner because that's something I've never done before and uh, would be pretty fun. It's always fun to play differently than you normally do. Oh! Well, where'd you come from, Kenny? Kenny always appears randomly in the weirdest spots, and the lumberjack broke the front door open. Now we are vulnerable to wild animals. Dead. Dead. Let's see what we got in here. A uh, compound crossbow. Will you leave me alone for a fucking second? 
Uh, I'm just going to sell that compound crossbow schematic because I'm never going to craft it. Not that it's a bad weapon. I'm just going to stick with guns here in Ramblin' Man. Less, it, you know, it's less ammo to hold on to. There's a key right here. Can I not grab that? Oh! Shit! <laughs> I just popped the front door open. Now we're even more vulnerable. Fuck off, lumberjack! God, they don't stop! I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Lumberjacks in the snow biome make me feel like a female at a club. And the lumberjacks are the guys that just won't leave you the fuck alone. You know what I mean? Everywhere you go, there's like five of them approaching you. And you're just like, Jesus Christ, fuck off. I just came here to dance with my friends. Lead, I'm good. Nothing there. I'm going to assume there's a basement in this place somewhere. Because we, we came in from the second floor. And I doubt the main loot is here on the first floor. So, it's got to be uh, maybe this door. Basement. Told you. Come on, there's the main stash. I know there are zombies down here. Let's see if we can be sneaky. There's one. Let's be real quiet. Wake up, bitch! Here we go. And that's how you be stealthy. Simple, really. Okay, let's check out the rest of this basement first before we grab the main stash, and let's also eat this eye candy. Might as well, we've been holding on to it. That's some fancy dress shoes. I'll sell those and a batter-up book. Power attacks increase the chance of knocking down your enemy. I'll read that, even though that's for the club, and we're using a sledgehammer. It's not a lumberjack. Coming to ask us if we want to dance. Sounds like there's a couple of zombies up there walking around. Oh boy. And a wolf now. Having flashbacks of the Jericho Ranch all over again. There's the wolf. Let's deal with this fucker first. Dead. Okay. The zombies I'm not too worried about. Here's the lumberjack. Come on down here, buddy. Oh, there goes your dancing leg. He won't stop, though. Look at him. He wants to buy me a drink so bad. Must be lonely out here in the mountains. Bop! Put him out of his misery. Alright, what's this book? Room clearing. Take 5% less damage and deal 10% more damage when indoors. That's a good one. Alright. Let's grab the rest of this loot and get out of here. I'm good on the magnum ammo. Ah, meat stew. We are not really that hungry right now. We'll eat the pumpkins just to pump up our hunger a bit, and we'll hold on to the meat stew. We gotta check this farm out. Even though I did see some potential in that last farm we were at, in terms of making it into a base, this seems like the big farm. This seems like the place where Farmer Glock would live. Alright, I'm gonna eat the meat stew now. Just to get it out of our inventory. And there's some stuff we have that we can drop if we find stuff that is of higher value. Let's get some blocks like this, so we can jump over the fence and... We'll make another set of steps on this side in case we got to get out of here real quickly. All right. Holy shit! Holy shit! What a way to start! What the fuck is going on? Everyone's waking up now. This is great. Oh, hey, you little bastard. Oh my god. Good thing I put those steps in. See, you never know what's gonna happen. Boom! Is that it? Nope. I think a car blew up over here. I'm not sure if it destroyed anything else when that happened. Oh shit, spider monkey! Dead. 
Man, those guys are easy to kill. Okay, I think... Got a little breathing room now. Gas. More gas. We got a hanging crate right here. Never seen that before. Let's uh, pull our way up there. Why not? Might as well grab it. Oh. I think this is the main stash right here. Let's see if this will hold us. Yep. And here's the main stash. And a zombie. Wake up. This is my stash now. Bitch. We got a lockpick this thing. Up, oh, more zombies are waking up. Oh, shit. Damn bird! You made me break a lockpick. All right. Well, where's that zombie? Here he is. Oh shit! I'm out of ammo. I must have put it in the damn motorcycle again. Ah, uh, never ends, does it? My stupidity is what I'm talking about. Never ending. We got two lockpicks here. Let's see if we can get lucky. Shit. Come on. Shit. Damn it. That's nice. More shit to sell. Okay. I'll use that aloe cream. Get us back to full health. Shotgun slugs, fine. I'll read that. Arrow rest mod, 58 bucks. We'll sell that. Ah, screw that. I ain't beating into that thing. Well, I guess we gotta go get our ammo, right? Or, uh, should we just leave? I mean, there's a silo there. It looks like some chicken coops. There's definitely more stuff to check out, but... We got the main stash. We should probably just leave before the day gets away from us. We still gotta go see Jen. I got some stuff to sell her. And we gotta find a place to sleep tonight, just in case we get a horde. We'll finish checking this place out another time. What do we got over here? A little military camp? Guess we better slow down before we hit a landmine, right? Oh, there are landmines in the trench. Let's be careful about those. Zombies in the tent? Oh, shit. There's zombies on the floor. I didn't even see them. Uh, let's see if we can lead them into the landmines. Come on, zombies. That's the new soldier zombie. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Come on. Hit those landmines, yes. Come on, you fuck. Did the rest die? Is there really just one left? There was like eight of them. Hit that shit. Oh, I guess I need bullets in my gun. That's how it works. Here we go. One more left. Look at that. All those soldier zombies dead. Only used one bullet. Landmines uh, do come in handy sometimes, as long as you're not the one stepping on them. Let's load up this pistol just in case. There we go. With those bullet tips, we can actually craft a bit more ammo. Super corn seed recipe that sells for 160 bucks. Scrap and scrap. I'm good on the sand. Wood. Water. Got a crawler headed this way. Oh, we can't search this truck? Guess we'll just take it apart then. I forgot about all the shit in here that I wanted to sell, Jen. Let's go do that real fast.
All right, let's do the fire station. In the event we get a horde tonight, this place will stand up against a horde just fine, and we can make a base here relatively quickly. I'd rather do this than risk riding back to the new city now and then scrambling to find a place there. We'll just spend the night here regardless if we get a horde or not, but if we do get a horde, all we gotta do is like knock out some of these steps right here. Or keep them in and just put bars at the steps and make sure there's no other way up to us and we can just handle the horde right here in the lobby. Shouldn't be a problem. And if we don't get a horde, then uh, whatever. We're leaving this town tomorrow anyway. Come on, line up, bitches. Yeah, this is basically how we're going to be fighting the horde. Except the opposite. We'll be up there and the zombies will be down here. Put my ammo in the bike again. Do you believe it? Uh, I mean, of course you believe it. Do this stupid shit all the time. Uh, motor tool mod schematic. That uh, increases the gas tank size. I'm just going to sell that thing. Here we go. Wake up, lady. Water. Let's go in through here. Got a ladder. You know, this might be a good place to handle the horde right here. If there's no other way up. We could probably hang out around this ladder or maybe bring the ladder all the way to the ground. Stay up at this hatch. I don't know. There's a few different ways we can run this. Oh, she's stuck. Glock to the rescue. Now she's not stuck. That door is locked. This is uh, just a little storage closet here, a pipe. Duct tape, glass jar, iron. I guess our only choice is to slide down the fireman's pole. I should have worn my nice dress. Whee! Oh, that wasn't as thrilling as I thought it'd be. And it was over too fast. Oh, they sure made that easy. Some stone, and here's the main stash. So that went pretty fast. Still don't know if we're getting a horde tonight. We won't know until around hour 18 or so. Scrap those arrows. So I guess we'll just kind of cruise around and find somewhere else to loot until we know whether we're getting a horde or not. Uh, the vehicle fuel saver, we already have one of those, so we'll just sell that schematic. And when hour 18 comes and goes, if we get confirmation that we're getting a horde, then we'll head back here and start preparing. If not, then we'll just loot until we're ready to call it a day. And then we'll just come back here and uh, this is where we'll spend the night. Let's go ahead and mark it on the map in case I get turned around. Call it day 10. And uh, let's just head down the road here and see what we can see. Is another dead rooster, Aldo's, funeral home. What is this place? A little warehouse? Let's check this out. I thought we'd get more wood than that. Let's take this apart. Let's grab both of those things and let's actually take that red die. Throw that on the motorcycle and see how that looks. I don't see a way to get to that backpack. Oh, what if we get out here? Still don't see a way. Oh! Oh shit. <laughs> Drop down into a little office with zombies. Oh, sorry about your computer. That's my fault.
Ooh, weighted head mod. There we go. I was going to craft one of those, actually. Now we don't have to. Nice. There's a weighted head mod in there, lady. That's why it hurts so much. See what this red dye looks like? Oh, that's not bad. Looks a lot more clean than the black dye. Or maybe that was just on the bicycle that made it look all rusty and shit. We'll have to see if we can find a blue dye, see what that looks like. What is this place with the dumpster in the back? This is not ringing any bells. Let's check it out. Hey, Skinny Pete. How you doing? Pop. Not so good. Well, it's just about hour 19 and no thunder yet, so... Doesn't look like we're getting a horde tonight, which is fine. I know it seems like a waste to use the uh, firehouse for a non-horde night, but like I said earlier, we're leaving this town tomorrow anyway, so it doesn't matter. I don't see us coming back to this town. Oh, well, looks like we're starting up in the attic. And I just wanted to mention something real quick. In the last episode, I talked a bunch of shit, or really just complained a bunch about how the job tiers for the traders don't carry over to other traders. Well, it turns out that they do carry over to the same trader if you find a double of that trader in the world. For instance, we got to, uh, oh boy, we're in a little ass room here. He's dead. She's dead. And we're good. Any zombies in here? No. Uh, so for instance, we got Trader Rex jobs up to tier two. So in the event that we find another Trader Rex in the world, his jobs will also be at tier two. So I guess that's not that bad. And also keep in mind, I was speaking from the perspective of a content creator. I know if you're just playing this game for yourself, that might that's pretty cool. Like, you know, kind of adds a little bit more to it, where you got to build a reputation with each trader and, and do all those jobs and shit. It's not a big deal to redo tier one jobs, but as a content creator who doesn't want to create repetitive content for you guys, it sucks. I mean, that's just the bottom line. I don't want to do a bunch of tier one jobs, move on, find a new trader, and then do a whole bunch more tier one jobs for you guys. It's re it becomes repetitive. So that's, to me, that's where it sucks. But for the average player who's just playing to enjoy themselves, uh, it's not that bad. And as a matter of fact, from what I heard was they're going to add in bandits and factions and all these different things. And that's the reason why also you have to build a reputation with each individual trader. So who knows? You know, we're still in alpha, so I don't know what the Fun Pimps final version of the game looks like. I stopped watching the live streams because I wanted to be surprised by all the new content. So um, I just wanted to put that out there. Because, uh, like I said, I was complaining a bunch in the last episode. Some of it is warranted, some of it not. Take it how you want to take it. Let's put on this level 6 chest armor. There we go. And uh, let's go see what's going on in the basement. None of this stuff is that familiar to me. I don't think I've ever raided this place before. Back up, lady. You too, Mo. Oh, thanks for that. I'll take the bandage, eat the food, and I'm good on the magnum ammo. Let's do it. Down. Is it just the three? One, two, and three. All right, where's the main stash? I know we're getting close. Some parts of this place seem familiar. Some parts not at all. Maybe it's just the house they changed around a bit. 
There we go. Here's the main stash, and we're kind of locked in this room. It reminds me of that POI where you end up locked in the garage at the end. I don't know. Whatever. Robotics book increases the fire rate of robotic weapons by 10%. Gonna read that. Take the other stuff. Okay. I don't know if that level 2 iron chest armor is any better than the level 6 scrap iron chest armor. We can take a look at it and compare before we sell it. I guess let's just go out this way. Yep. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, let's get up here. Could take these stairs out. Uh, actually, fuck that. That's too many hit points. Let's just barricade the steps with blocks. There we go. Zombies will never get past that ingenious design. <laughs> All right, whatever. Let's put a campfire down. All right, there's definitely more things to take apart and salvage for parts that we can either sell or use. So as long as it stays quiet tonight, then that's what I'll do. And we'll pick things up here on the morning of day 11. We're going to get out of this town. Uh, I already got the workbench and the forge. We're going to head over to this town. We got Trader Joel over here. So we'll set the workbench and forge up close by to Joel. And then we'll go exploring this town. We're going to have to find a good place to use for a horde fight. Because we haven't had one in a few days. And the chances are uh, we're going to have one in the next episode. But who knows? Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Ramblin' Man, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.